how fast can you divide 67,362 by 103? Now you have ample idea how to do it. So give it a try. I'm giving you 10 seconds for this and your time starts now. Your time is up. The correct answer is, of course, 6.54. There it is. Okay. So, now let me show you the fast way of doing it. The fast way of dividing when the divisor is a three-digit number is not very different from what we have seen in the last video. The only thing is that, that since there are three digits here, so you take the first two digits as your main divisor and keep the last digit as the unused digit. So once again, 10 how many times will go into 67? 10, 6 times is 60, so write 6 here and remainder is 7. The next dividend would be 73 minus the product of this unused digit times the answer digit. So 73 minus 18 would be 73 minus 8 is 65, jumping down 10 is 55. So how many times does 10 go in 55? 10, 5 times is 50. So write 5 here and the remainder is 5 of course. Now our new dividend would be 56 minus 3 times 5 that is 15. So 56 minus 5 is 51 and jumping down 10 is 41. So 10 goes in 41 how many times? 4 times. 10 4 times is 40. So again the remainder is 1. Now our new dividend would be 12 minus 3 times 4 that is again 12. So 12 minus 12 is 0. Moment you have 0 as the dividend, you know that this is your answer. That's it. As simple as that. Again, it is based on the same logic that dividing by 103 might be difficult, but dividing by 10, it is the simplest operation in mathematics, isn't it? So that would not be a problem at all. Now let's see more examples. Now once again, you break this divisor as 11 and 2, that is you take 11 as your main divisor and 2 as your unused digit. Like I always say, you must know multiplication tables till 20. This is the basic tool of every mathematician. Okay? Uh, if you know the table of 11, then obviously you can easily solve this. Unfortunately, table of 11 is not that difficult at all. So. 11 how many times will go into 64? 11 6 times is 66 but that would be more than this. So 11 5 times is 55 and the remainder is 9. Okay. So the new dividend would be 92 minus 2 times 5 that is 10. So 92 minus 10 is 82. 11 will go how many times in 82? 11 7 times is 77. Okay. So that leaves us with 5 as the remainder. So our new dividend would be 58 minus 2 times 7 that is 14. 58 minus 4 is 54 jumping down 10 is 44. So 11 goes how many times in 44? 11 4 times is 44. So remainder is 0 this time. Okay. So our new dividend would be 0 8 that is 8 minus 2 times 4 which is again 8. 8 minus 8 is 0 and you know that this is your answer. That's it. As simple as that. So this way you can break any three digit divisor into manageable numbers. Okay. But again, you must know the table of your main divisor. Now, once again, take the first two digits as your main divisor and keep this three as your unused digit. So 12 will go how many times in 28? 12, two times is 24. So write two here and four is obviously the remainder. 28 minus 24 is 4. So now our new dividend would be 44 minus 3 times 2 that is 6. 44 minus 6 is 38. Now 12 goes how many times in 38? 12 3 times is 36. So I write 3 here and the remainder is 2. This becomes 21. So our new dividend would be 21 minus 3 times 3 that is 9. So 21 minus 9 is 12. So I write 12 here. 
12 goes how many times in 12? 1 times. So write 1 here and remainder is obviously 0. Now our new dividend would be 3 minus 3 times 1 that is again 3. So 3 minus 3 is 0 and you know that 231 is your answer. Now don't you think this is a very easy way of dividing the numbers? It not only saves you space but it saves you a lot of time and effort because all the time you are dividing with an easy number with a friendly number. Okay, now let's try to divide 87,138 with 206. So once again, break this divisor as 20 and 6, where 20 would be your main divisor and 6 would be your unused digit. So 20 will go how many times in 87? 20, 4 times is 80. So that leaves us with remainder 7. Now our new dividend would be 71 minus 6 times 4, that is 24. So, 71 minus 4 is 67 and then 57, 47, jumping 2 tens down. Now, 20 goes in 47 how many times? 20, 2 times is 40. So, 7 is the remainder and a new dividend would be 73 minus 6 times 2, that is 12. 73 minus 2 is 71, jumping down 10 is 61. Now, 20 how many times will go into 61? 20, 3 times is 60. So, remainder is 1. Now, our new dividend would be 18 minus 6 times 3, which is again 18. So, 18 minus 18 is 0. Moment you have 0 here, you know that this is your answer. So, the answer is 423. So, by now you must have realized that this method will work extremely well as long as your main divisor is a manageable number, is a friendly number. So, if it was like let us say 307, then also 30 is a manageable number, it would not give you any problem. Even if it was let us say 4008, then also you can easily divide it because 4000 has 400 as your main divisor and it is not at all difficult to divide with 400. Let's try to divide these numbers now. So once again, take the last digit as your unused digit and take this 300 as your main divisor. So 300 will go how many times in 965? 300, 3 times is 900, so obviously 3 times. And 65 is the remainder, so I put 65 here. Now, this is read as 655. So, our next dividend would be 655 minus 8 times 3, that is 24. So, 655 minus 4 is 651 and then 641, 631. So, 631 is our new dividend. 300 will go how many times in 631? 300, 2 times is 600. So, 2 times and the remainder is 31. Now, this is 316. So, our next dividend would be 316 minus 8 times 2, that is 16, that would be what? 300. And 300, how many times is 300? 1 times. So I put 1 here. Now that leaves us with 0 remainder, no remainder. So our next dividend would be 8 minus 8 times 1, which is again 8. So 8 minus 8 is 0. So we know that this is our answer. Well, at the first glance, these numbers might have looked intimidating to you, isn't it? Tell me honestly. But we divided them with so much ease. This is the advantage of using the easy calc tricks.